Our state is out with new guidelines for how school buses will operate amid the pandemic. And as WBZ's Anna Ritas Rodriguez found out, school bus drivers have some concerns about being on the front lines. Busing and building guidelines for schools are out. The blueprint unveiled by state officials creates a punch list of new workflow standards with big changes ahead when it comes to transportation, like limits to bus capacity based on bus models, the max occupancy for an 83 passenger bus, 27 students. I want to get the kids to school, I want them to be safe, and that's how I do my job every day. But what they're telling us they think we should be doing, I don't. I don't think, my, personally, I, I would be able to do that safely. Seating will be staggered to comply with physical distancing. Everyone must wear masks, and bus drivers and monitors will need to be trained to screen for symptoms. Unions from Worcester to Boston say the guidance is not practical. Drivers are not health care professionals. It's going to be very hard to analyze everyone. We have 55,000 students and hundreds of buses, and we just don't have enough buses. Boston Teachers Union President Jessica Tang says reopening facilities will also be a big challenge. New rules call for cleaning shared spaces daily and disinfecting high touch surfaces like door handles, light switches, and handrails multiple times a day. Schools are also asked to work on increasing outdoor ventilation. Instead of using recirculated air, our classrooms, even if they do have windows, many of them don't open uh, and or are not safe to open. And these are the same buildings that just a few years ago we had to negotiate in our contract that we would have soap, warm water, and paper towels. All a massive undertaking as we inch closer to the start of the school year. I'm Anna Ritas Rodriguez, WBZ News.